What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. Today I want to make a video talking about my experience as a graduate student on the undergraduate course of medicine at King's College London. Hopefully this video will help other mature students who are thinking about taking this pathway or this entry to medicine, help them make their decision or dispel a couple of myths or misconceptions that they might have. So I applied to medicine as a graduate student after I'd finished my undergraduate degree at the University of Toronto. Over there I studied immunology, biotechnology and microbiology and one of my biggest concerns when applying to medicine in the UK was that I was going to be significantly older than a lot of the students who went through the direct path after high school. Now keep in mind I was 22 when I applied, I'm, I just turned 23, but there are a lot of students who are in the 25, 26 range and we even have some students who are above 30. I want to start this video by talking about a couple of reasons why I think being a mature student on the undergraduate medicine course is a really, really good thing. Also before we get into the video, make sure to follow me on my new Instagram page, Karma Medic. I'll post a link in the description and put a video up here. I'm posting some content there that shows my life as a researcher now in the summer and I'm going to be posting there a lot of things regarding medical school once I get back to the UK in September. So the first thing is that I've already completed my undergraduate degree. I've already gone through so many sleepless nights of really hard work. I've already taken so many exams. I've already had to juggle really intense workloads with exams, social life. I've already developed these skills and I can now use what I already know in my undergraduate course. I don't have to learn all of these things from the very beginning, which a lot of direct school leavers are going to have to do. Now, since I can do that, I can really focus my time on things that can be outside of my academics or schoolwork. For example, I can spend more time socializing, I can spend more time pursuing uh, other hobbies or interests of mine, such as sports or even this YouTube channel, because I have a very efficient way of studying. I've harnessed that over four years, and I know what I'm doing when it comes to academics and studying. Second of all, I can really appreciate what it is that I'm doing. Sometimes it'll have been a very difficult journey to get to medicine if you don't get in as a direct school leaver. So now that I'm finally in medicine, I'm hungry for knowledge, I'm hungry to learn and to experience all the dissections, the anatomy, and I feel like it gives us a different perspective as graduate students when we learn all this material. Another thing is that exams don't scare me as much. In my undergrad degree, I wrote approximately 40 final exams and maybe even double that many midterms. I've also had plenty of assignments, plenty of essays to write. And so these are all routine for me now. I know how to research for an essay. I know how to write an essay and structure one. I know how to study for my exams. I know how much time I need. And this really makes my life a lot easier when I'm in medical school. And lastly, kind of a side note, you'll find that some of the younger students will look up to you and they'll uh, ask you for advice. They'll ask you for how to write notes, how to study. And I find that kind of cool. It's always great to be able to give back or to show someone how you did something in the hopes that it might help them as well. I know when I was in undergrad, I always looked up to second year, third year and fourth year students and I really wanted their advice. I wanted their know-how, all the little secrets of having been through the experience and I was always looking for them to help me if I could. Now I just want to dispel a couple of myths that even I had when I was first going to medical school in the UK, coming into the experience as an older student and knowing that I was going to be surrounded by lots of school leavers. So one of the things I was worried about was that all the direct school leavers would be too immature or that we would be in such a different place in our life and in our mind state that we wouldn't be able to mingle and get along and become good friends. But I've honestly found that to be so untrue. For example, in my tutorial group, we're a group of 12. There's two graduate students, myself and one other person, and the rest of the students are undergraduate or direct school leavers. And we get along just fine. We have plenty of fun in tutorials. We have plenty to talk about, lots of banter. And on top of that, you just, you get along well. As you get to know the other students a little bit better, you find that the age difference becomes something that's not important and you can get along well, have very good conversation and have fun even when you go out. The second thing that I was worried about was that there wouldn't be enough graduate students was that we would be such a small minority that it would be hard to make friends within the graduate circle but I found that to be so so untrue and again it might depend on which university you attend depending on the class size and how many graduate students they take but for example at King's we're a class of about 450 students and there is at least 60 graduate students that I know of and so out of all those graduate students you can meet plenty of them yeah a lot of them you'll get to meet in freshers week and some you'll pick up along as you go through the year and then you can decide who you get along with best who you don't get along with so well but my point is that there's plenty of choice there's plenty of other graduate students who you're able to meet also I was quite worried about the specific age difference between 18 and 22 or 19 and 22 so the age difference between 18 and 22 is quite large and you are on a very different level but once you hit that 19 and 22 or 19 and 23 range you'll find that the age gap really isn't as important and on top of that I'm I, I was 22 when I joined KCL and I hung out with plenty of people who were 25 26 27 
And so it works both ways. I was a younger student to a lot of other more mature students than me, and I was a lot older than other younger students. And honestly, the age gap really isn't that big of a deal. As you get to know someone, you'll realize that it's really not that important. Now, when I was applying to medical school, the one thing that I considered was living on dorms in my first year. And I thought that that would be a very good way to get to meet other students, to integrate myself into the university life, so that you could meet as many people as you can and make as many friends as possible. For a graduate student living in a first year dominant dorm, I think that might be a terrible idea because a lot of the first year students are just gonna wanna party super hard, they're gonna wanna have a really great time, always be out making loud noise and staying up really late, which is totally fine. I went through that when I went to university and I was an undergraduate student, but now things have changed for me and I'm kind of more focused on my studies and hanging out with my friends in let's say more tame settings. So if you are a graduate student and you're applying to an undergraduate course, keep in mind that there are graduate residences specifically for mature students and that can really help ease the the transition into the medical school where you can still integrate yourself into the community but you're not going to be constantly surrounded by students who would want to party every single night another thing is that i was really worried that relearning all of the biomedical science all of the biochemistry the biology even some chemistry would be super super boring and so my first year would be dry i would be relearning a lot of things that i already learned and i would just hate it and have a really annoying and not fulfilling first year now Turns out all that stuff about boring medical sciences and relearning some stuff that you learned is true. However, there's so much new stuff that you learn that it kind of balances that out. For example, we have anatomy, we have dissections, we have all the tutorials and workshops, and a lot of those hands-on activities were very new to me. And so it was really great to have that balanced out by the lectures, and it's kind of what kept me going throughout the year. Making sure that you really focus on and delve yourself into the anatomy aspect, the clinical skills, and all of those things will help take you away from the boredom of relearning a lot of the things that you've already learned in your undergraduate degree. Another really nice thing was that in undergrad, if we ever learned a concept, we would go into every single tiny detail about it. We would be expected to memorize all of those details. Whereas in medical school, it takes a much more broad overview. It's a lot more about surface level topics over a wide range of things, as opposed to a specific topic going very, very deep. And so that was really great because I'd, I had memorized all the details for some pathway, whereas now I only had to learn the surface level details of it. And so it was a lot easier for me to recall that memory. All in all, the point that I'm trying to get across is that if you want to do medicine and if you want to study in the UK, don't be shy or don't be put off by applying as a graduate student to the undergraduate course. It honestly made almost zero difference to my experience. I enjoyed it so much and I hung out with all the other graduate students and some undergraduate students as well. And it made for a very, very good experience. If medicine is something you wanna pursue, don't let this path be something that throws you off. And next year in year two, I have all of the clinical aspects like being in a GP surgery or in a hospital for one day each week. And so I'm really, really excited for that. There's no more relearning all that BS biochem, all that BS chemistry and biology and whatever. Um, so that's gonna be very interesting to see next year starting September. So yeah, honestly, just go for it. The experience is great. You're not gonna regret it. And all in all, it's one extra year compared to the graduate entry course. And the graduate entry course is a lot more competitive as I'm sure you know. And for me, for example, as an international student, I wanted to increase my chances as much as possible to get into med. So I only applied for the five-year courses. I didn't wanna to apply to the four-year courses and have an even more competitive and difficult time getting into medical school. And that's it guys, just a short one, really focused towards the graduate students. I just wanna encourage you to apply to medicine and not be put off by the fact that a lot of the other students around you will be younger than you. So yeah guys, that's it for me. Make sure to like this video if you like the content. If you learned something new, subscribe, see more videos from me. And also follow me on Instagram on the new page that I made. I think you'll enjoy the content that I'll be posting there too. Happy studying, happy applications, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.